craving of banana bread. I'm such a sucker when it comes to banana bread, I just love it so much. But there aren't that many healthy options out there, so I got to work and set myself the challenge to create this amazing healthy banana bread, and I have finally got it, so I'm going to be sharing that with you. So it is, of course, healthy, it's vegan, it is gluten-free, and it's also refined sugar-free. Um, so what you will need is three bananas, and make sure they are ripe, so they've got all of these brown spots on them, because that's when they're most sweet, so they're amazing for baking, and then also they're so much easier to mash, because that's what we're going to be doing later. So make sure you have these, do not use this because it just won't work I'm afraid so you may have to wait a few days if your bananas look like this at the moment. One cup of ground almonds and you can find these in most supermarkets and one cup of brown rice flour, just a quarter cup of sultanas, a pinch of pink salt but you can use any salt of your choice and one third cup of coconut oil. You'll also need a tablespoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of nutmeg and then also a teaspoon of vanilla extract and the best quality you can find, it really will make a difference so try to get that one. And then you also want three uh, medjool dates. Now I do recommend you using medjool dates just because they're the sweetest and they're really gooey so they're amazing for baking. If you can't get hold of any uh, medjool dates, you can just buy any dates and put them in some water to soften them up and that's what we're going to be doing today as well. And lastly, just a sprinkle of flaked almonds and you can buy these in my supermarkets as well. They're just for the top at the end. You'll also need these two mini loaf tins or one large tin if you prefer. So to start off, I'm just going to put the medjool dates into a little bowl of water just to soak them, just to make sure they're so, so soft. So I'm just going to put them to one side and then you will need a large mixing bowl and I'm just going to put in the flour, so the ground almonds and the brown rice flour. Just a little bit of pink salt, a tablespoon of the cinnamon, the nutmeg and then you're just going to stir that together. And then you can just drop in the sultanas and give that another stir. So now you want to turn your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and then you just want to measure out your coconut oil and that's the third cup. And then pop that onto a baking tray and put it in the oven because we basically just want to melt this oil. And I've had experience in the past where it does spill if you don't have a baking tray underneath. So yeah, just to be safe, put it on a baking tray and then just pop that in the oven just until it melts. And then you just want to take the bananas and using the back of a fork, just mash that banana until it's like totally smooth and do that to all three of your bananas. So once your bananas are all mashed and looking like baby food, you want to remove your dates from the water and slightly dry them with some kitchen towel and remove the stones. And then you just want to mash them with the back of the fork like you did with the bananas. This can be a bit of an arm workout. <laughs> And then you can just pour all of that mush into a smaller mixing bowl. So the banana, the dates. So the dates kind of form this amazing paste and that's what sweetens the whole banana bread. And you'll be so surprised at how sweet the dates are. And then you also want to add the one teaspoon of vanilla extract in there. And just give that a mix. Try to get all of the dates and bananas all combined. So once you've mashed all of that banana and date paste together, you want to take your coconut oil. I told you it would spill, didn't I? It goes everywhere when it melts. And you just want to pour that into the banana mixture. Give that a stir. <laughs> Why did I say that was so funny? Because you nearly said stir a root. <laughs> stir a root. And then just pour all of that wet mixture into the dry mixture. Once the mixture is all combined and looking like this, you want to spoon the mixture into your mini loaf tins and try to do this as equal as possible between the two. Mm. 
and then take a small handful of the flaked almonds and just sprinkle them onto the top. You can kind of pat them down as well. And then all you're going to do is bake them in the oven for 35 minutes. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video and you like this recipe. If you do make this recipe yourself at home, do make sure to tag me in your photos because I would love to see them. My Instagram and Twitter are both Naomi Smart. And also make sure you subscribe if you're new around here, then do click subscribe. And anyway, thanks for watching again and I will see you very soon. Bye. Here's the taste test. Mm. <laughs> Mmm, mmm. So good. Really, you should let them cool before you eat them, but sometimes I just don't want to wait. <laughs> I went into the shop called Apavita. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that totally wrong, but it's all natural uh, ingredients, like 98% natural. And I got all these like syrups.